The Lord of the Rings, a trilogy that everyone can appreciate. Well, anyone with taste. But with so many unforgettable quotes, how could you boil it down to just 10? <laughs> We're sure you'll disagree, but we thought we'd give it a try. And where better to start than number 10? 10! Toss me. What? I cannot jump the distance and have to toss me! Good dialogue doesn't always have to be as dramatic as a rally cry or the philosophy of life and death. Sometimes it just captures the growth of a character in a way that only they could. We all know the scene where Legolas and Gimli share what might be their final words as friends, but nothing's more Gimli than wounding his pride to save the day. Don't tell the elf. No! no. I didn't think it would end this way. End? Oh, the journey doesn't end here. Lord of the Rings has its fair share of defying the odds. But it is not this day. But it isn't always defiance in the face of death. Ian McKellen's warm delivery is so convincing that for just a moment, even we forget that this guy just got resurrected. Of course you're chill about it. You got a promotion for dying. Eight. The halfling was dear to the I see. Know that he suffered greatly at the hands of his host. The Mouth of Sauron. Cut from the theatrical release, we hate to know that audiences missed out on this petrifying villain. His sadistic words and foul cadence are the perfect pair for a character so frightening that even the Fellowship's shaken in their boots. Sorry, Mr. Bombadil, but at least someone made it back in the special editions. Seven! True courage is about knowing uh, to take a life. You know, this may be from The Hobbit, but but it is a good quote. It's a good. I mean, it's basically the best movie out of the whole trilogy. So maybe we can. Six. Yeah, let's let's just skip over that one. Let this be the hour when we draw. Oh, get, we just cut that cut that one off a little early. That's. Okay, this is this is a behind-the-scenes interview about the last scene Elijah Wood ever filmed for Frodo, but but the scene itself, it, it, like, why wouldn't you put? It, I mean, you get that this is this is the weirdest way to showcase. Your, okay, apparently this this launch just for Peter, not even not even the quote he's talking about, just just the fifth best Lord of the Rings quote is Peter Jackson talking about a line he directed. Okay, it's fine. I mean, it, it's not a line. It's not It's not scripted. It's, it's like a real human being in a documentary. Four. No, that, okay, that's fine. No, you know what? Fuck me, I guess. There's not even a scene here. This is like a behind-the-scenes shot that just... Like, someone kept the camera... It's not even pointed at anything! I can't even... I can't hear... It, is this even the right set? This could be like Pacific Rim too. You, you wouldn't Three. need. This is a fight scene from Game of Thrones season one. Neither of these actors were even in the Lord of the. It, it, no, no, you can't. No, no, no. You can't just cut in an actual quote. You're not, you're not fooling anybody. I can see the thing. I can, I can see the thing. Stories, Mr. Frodo. You could have put this effort into getting an actual back. clip. Five. Wrong number. You're, you're counting backwards from ten and you got the wrong number. This is literally just John Noble eating tomatoes. There, there's supposed to be a, a fucking song at the very least, which you, you, you left the chewing sounds. Five. Oh no, we already did five. God. What is that? No, what, what, no, what is that? Whose house is that? Is that... Is that Elijah Wood's house? How'd you get a shot of the... Is it... Is this live? No, he did not invite you. He did not invite you. Stop, I cannot be asso... You have to turn around. I cannot be associated with this. You have got to turn around five. and... No, five. stop. No, five. How, how could this five. be number five?